The Elusive Nature of Abnormality Efforts to define psychological abnormality typically raise as many questions as they answer. Ultimately, a society selects general criteria for defining abnormality and then uses those criteria to judge particular cases. One clinical theorist, Thomas Zez 1920-2012, placed such emphasis on society's role that he found the whole concept of mental illness to be invalid, a myth of sorts. According to Zaz, the deviations that society calls abnormal are simply problems in living, not signs of something wrong within the person. Societies, he was convinced, invent the concept of mental illness so that they can better control or change people whose unusual patterns of functioning upset or threaten the social order. Even if we assume that psychological abnormality is a valid concept and that it can indeed be defined, we may be unable to apply our definition consistently. If a behavior excessive use of alcohol among college students, say, is familiar enough, the society may fail to recognize that it is deviant, distressful, dysfunctional, and dangerous. Thousands of college students throughout the United States are so dependent on alcohol that it interferes with their personal and academic lives, causes them great discomfort, jeopardizes their health, and often endangers them and the people around them. Yet their problem often goes unnoticed and undiagnosed. Alcohol is so much a part of the college subculture that it is easy to overlook drinking behavior that has become abnormal. Conversely, a society may have trouble separating an abnormality that requires intervention from an eccentricity, an unusual pattern with which others have no right to interfere. From time to time we see or hear about people who behave in ways we consider strange, such as a man who lives alone with two dozen cats and rarely talks to other people. The behavior of such people is deviant, and it may well be distressful and dysfunctional, yet many professionals think of it as eccentric rather than abnormal. In short, while we may agree to define psychological abnormalities as patterns of functioning that are deviant, distressful, dysfunctional, and sometimes dangerous. We should be clear that these criteria are often vague and subjective. In turn, few of the current categories of abnormality that you will meet in this book are as clear-cut as they may seem, and most continue to be debated by clinicians. Psychwatch Marching to a different drummer, eccentrics. Writer James Joyce always carried a tiny pair of ladies' bloomers, which he waved in the air to show approval. Benjamin Franklin took air baths for his health, sitting naked in front of an open window. Alexander Graham Bell covered the windows of his house to keep out the rays of the full moon. He also tried to teach his dog how to talk. Writer D. H. Lawrence enjoyed removing his clothes and climbing mulberry trees. These famous persons have been called eccentrics. The dictionary defines an eccentric as a person who deviates from common behavior patterns or displays odd or whimsical behavior. But how can we separate a psychologically healthy person who has unusual habits from a person whose oddness is a symptom of psychopathology? Little research has been done on eccentrics, but a few studies offer some insights. Researcher David Weeks studied 1,000 eccentrics and estimated that as many as 1 in 5,000 persons may be classic, full-time eccentrics. Weeks pinpointed 15 characteristics common to the eccentrics in his study. Nonconformity, creativity, strong curiosity, idealism, extreme interests and hobbies, lifelong awareness of being different, high intelligence, outspokenness, non-competitiveness. Unusual eating and living habits, disinterest in others' opinions or company, mischievous sense of humor, non-marriage, eldest or only child, and poor spelling skills. Weeks suggests that eccentrics do not typically suffer from mental disorders. Whereas the unusual behavior of persons with mental disorders is thrust upon them and usually causes them suffering, eccentricity is chosen freely and provides pleasure. In short, eccentrics know they're different and glory in it. Similarly, 
the thought processes of eccentrics are not severely disrupted and do not leave these persons dysfunctional. In fact, Weeks found that eccentrics in his study actually had fewer emotional problems than individuals in the general population. Perhaps being an original is good for mental health. Musical eccentric pop superstar Lady Gaga is known far and wide for her eccentric behavior, outrageous sense of fashion, and unusual performing style. Her millions of fans enjoy her unusual persona every bit as much as the lyrics and music that she writes and sings.